All right, next question is from Mickey M. Fit. Is it normal to feel some soreness when going into a new phase of training? Or does that mean you took the workout too far? Um, these days, if I'm consistent, almost every single time I do get sore, and I don't get sore very often, but the times I may get sore, it's because I moved into a new phase. So it's, it's pretty predictable. Like if I change the rep range from low to high, or I go from straight sets to supersets, or even just changing the exercise, you know, let's say I'm practicing barbell squats and getting really good at them and I train them for a long, long time. And then I think to myself, I'm going to go on a run of Bulgarian split stand squats. The first week or two of doing them, I tend to feel sore. And I just think this has to do with the fact that your body's not used to it. And you're going to, anytime you're, when your body gets really good at something, it gets very good at it. And it also reduces the damage that whatever you're doing uh, can potentially cause. That's part of why you get good at it. Your body's adapting, trying to prevent damage. So when you try something different, it's a new skill, new movement. Um, and you're more likely to cause damage. Does that mean you overdid it? Mm, I don't think so. Uh, if you're sore for like two days, three days, yeah. But uh, if you're sore for like a day, that's that's normal. Th and that's uh, this why is a really hard question to answer because it's it really depends on how sore are we talking about, right? Like I'm sore right now. Uh, I've been really inconsistent the previous two or three months. Uh, my consistency's ramped up the last couple of weeks. And so I kind of feel sore all the time right now, you know, between whatever I'm hitting. I, I definitely am happy. I was just telling you guys the other day, I was like, it's been a while since I even did ab work and it didn't take very much. And like my abs are super sore from what I thought was very little work. So there's definitely going to be that uh, if it's new, changing the phase, you haven't done an exercise, that exercise in a long time, you're, you're you know, 99% of the time you're going to be sore. But if it gets, it's, I look at it for myself, like if it's debilitating, if it keeps me from, doing normal movements or it like it's i'm so at sore to the touch mm -hmm. i know i i way overreach mm -hmm. like i i don't mind feeling a little bit of soreness like i worked out that's a, i think that's a really good feeling because you in order to adapt and keep growing changing right we want to feel you want to be overreaching or stretching a little bit but the common thing is that i think most people hammer themselves and they really overreach, you just barely kind of want to overreach, right? So being sore a little bit, okay, but you're the only person that can really gauge how sore you feel from this workout compared to what you normally feel like. Yeah, I think that's why it's it's nice to have a coach uh, taking you through programs initially because they do a lot better job of gauging that if you're unfamiliar with what that mm -hmm. looks like. Because you know, personally, I've definitely had to go through a lot of, of hellish uh, you know, workouts where I totally overreached and realized that, oh my God, like that just hammered me. I can't do that and replicate that again. And so it's like, you know, going through that myself, then I know uh, what signs and things to look out in the workouts in terms of, you know, whether or not uh, this is this is going to be like adequate amount of uh, of load or reps or volume and, and you know, and then also see how they rebound uh, the next time. Well, you guys, I'm sure do this and I do this at least now, like I'm so aware of like what that feeling feels like in the workout that, for example, right. I had, you know, the other day I was like, you know, I'm just going to throw, you know, 135 on my back. I'm going to do walking lunges for five sets. That was going to be my leg training for the day. And I got into like by set three, I was like, oh shit. Yeah. 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 Like, so I better I, calm down. You're yeah, familiar I, with the feeling. Right. I already felt like I could tell how pumped I was. I could tell how tight I was. I could even start to feel that burning sensation. Like I'm going to be sore from this already. So even though I had written down that I was going to do five sets, I didn't because I knew that I, I, this was going to be enough to definitely get my body to adapt and change. There was no need for more. It's because I think the big problem is people go into a, a workout or they'll try a new phase or change it. And what they're trying to do is see how much they can take. That becomes the mentality like, yeah. oh, I can do more. I can push more. That's the wrong mentality. Um, what you want to do is go into it thinking, how much do I need to do to get my body to respond? That's all. If it's new, you don't need to do, you don't even need to do as much as you were doing before. So in other words, if I'm, here's what happens to me. Let's say I'm, I'm training and it's five weeks and I'm in a low rep phase. At that, At the end of that five week period, my intensity is pretty high in that low rep range. Then when I move to a high rep range, I don't match the same intensity uh, that I had in my low rep range. It's a lower intensity because it's a new stimulus and I can feel it. I can feel it in my body. I go easier than I was before. And it's because I'm going into the workout with the mentality, how much is going to be requi required to get my body to change versus how much can I do? How much hard, how hard can I go?